Hi everyone! Today's video is a makeup look inspired by Hyuna from her latest comeback with Triple H for Retro Future. My lenses right now, they aren't as light as the ones that she has, but these are the only like blue lenses that I have. These are the Genith uh, 3 Con Blue. So Genith 3 Tone Blue. And this one is like the three month one, I think. It comes in the vial. So they're not that bright, but this is what I have. I definitely think she's like wearing one of like those um, hologram lenses like from Lens Me. This is the finished look. And if you want to see how I got this, then please keep watching. So I'm starting off with my foundation all done and my nose contour. Um, I don't think she really had any blush on. It kind of just looks like a clean canvas. So I'm not going to put any blush on. Yes, this paints me as well. But otherwise, her foundation just looks like pretty like standard, not too specific and just like maybe a glowy base. So I use the Sun and Park Beauty Filter Cream. The Jung Sammoon Star Sealer Foundation and the Clio Kill Cover um, Liquid Foundwear Ample Cushion. So I used these two and then I set my eyelids with the Paula's Choice Resist Flawless, Flawless, Flawless Finish Powder. So that's all I have on my face right now. We can just go straight into the eyes and the eyebrows because and the lips. So. The three main points of her whole makeup, I think, is her eyes, eyebrows, and lips. And then that's why her, the rest of her face is pretty much left blank. I didn't really see much contouring done either. So, yes. I'm going to start off with the eyes. For this look, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Mario Master Palette by Mario. Um, I'm just using this because I have it. And... These are the colors that I thought worked out the best for this look. So these three are the colors that I am going to be using. Um, Isabel is just like an orange base. Um, Violetta is just like a warm tone brown. So you can kind of find these colors in most places. I don't think you have to pick up... You, don't, you definitely don't have to just use this just because I'm using it. I just didn't have anything else that had... The colors that she was wearing you feel me okay so i'm starting off with isabel and i'm gonna use a fluffy brush this is gonna be our i guess transition color so just putting it all over the lid all over the lid just to start off just do that first journey yes And she kind of has like a really round shape. Um, so right above your pupil, just bring it up like right here for me. And she also brings it out a lot. So I'm going to be doing that as well. And then she also has it on her bottom lash line. Like kind of just all over the lid. Even into the inner corner just so that everything blends together well because this is like such a smoky smoky eye We're going to go in with the second color, which is Violetta, which is right here. It's just like a very, very warm toned reddish brown. And I'm going to just start by packing that on the lid. Making sure that it's darkest right at the lash line and like smoking upwards. Also, this goes past the lash line. Um, her liner is pretty thin, but her the dark shadow goes pretty far out. I 
and this is also round as well so it should go out farthest right where your pupil is i'm gonna go back into violetta with a really small almost like a liner brush i think this is actually a eyeliner or lip brush and i'm gonna line my waterline with this same dark brown And it's really thin in the beginning and then it gets thicker at the end. And I just kind of like made the wing just so that it's like, you know. Oh my god, it looks so goth. So I'm gonna go with an. I'm actually gonna go into brows now, and I'm using like this flat shader brush, and I'm gonna go into Claudia. Um, it's not really a brow shade, but I just used it before and it worked, so I'm just gonna do it again. It might look crazy because it's a navy color, but um, hee <laughs> hee. I'm gonna get rid of the powder and foundation, cushion, etc. in my brows first with the spoolie while this truck is going off. Just so my brows don't have like a white cast, especially since hers, like her brows are like a natural arch, like you f define them, but like not like super defined. I'm just going to attempt this for the second time. I kind of did it when I was practicing, so I hope I can do it again. It's like pretty thin and arched. You don't have to be too concerned about the overall neatness or tidiness of it, I feel like, as long as you have like the shape and the color like the black black but whatever this is fine I'm trying to make use of this palette <laughs> oh my god look crazy if you have like eyebrow or clear mascara that would really be good because like in this uh, makeup look she seems like she has like her eyebrow hair is super divined um before i move on i'm going to highlight my brow bone i'm gonna use the Too faced candlelight glow because her highlight has like um it's like basically in a similar color scheme with the rest of her eye makeup it's like a very warm toned highlight Also, I'm gonna go in the inner corner with this. She has a pretty bright highlight in her inner corners. And it's like pretty like far spread out. It's not like super condensed in an area. It's like very blown out. This eyebrow is probably going to be harder because this is like more of my straight eyebrow. Um, I'm just going to try to ignore most of the shape. Oh, that was wrong. Just rubbing it off with my finger. There's like a huge patch in my foundation, but it's fine. Nobody's looking that close. Except for all of you.
Bro, this thin ass eyebrow. But I use Etude House Dr. Mascara Fixer. Oh my gosh, this is my new one. Oops. Opening this. This is for a long lash. This is my favorite one over the For Perfect Lash because it has like little fibers in it and also I feel like it holds my curl a lot better. And then for the gold glitter, um, it's actually like a super orangey, like rust, coppery kind of glitter. So I'm going to use this Pat McGrath Bronze 005 pigment and put it in the center. She has it like packed right in the center and also just bring it down a bit like right underneath the iris and then I'm gonna use the Innisfree Twinkle Glitter Liner in number 3 and put it on top of this because this is way more of like a coppery color hers is like super bright so I'm just gonna kind of glob it on I think I should have focused it more on the center. I spread it out a little bit too much. But it's okay. It looks I look I look a lot better with the glitter on for some reason. Well I just I just freaking stamped my face, but it's fine because my camera isn't not focusing anyways. So like just you can't see anything that I do wrong, just on purpose. Mm. Nope. Nope. Well, it's it's fine. I think that might be like my mole. I don't remember. I'm gonna use the Fenty fly liner. This is like a little sample that I got. Like if you use $20, like $25, then you can use some coupon to get a free mini of fly liner. So that's what I did. It was like on Sephora. You know how they get you. So just basically keeping the line very thin and winging it out. She doesn't wing it out too far. For her wing, she just like um, right here, this point of your eye, like right where your top and bottom lash line meet, that's where it goes out. So like right here, it's like out. It's like goes out and a little bit upwards. My eyelids are uneven, so if my eyeliner looks uneven, it's because I have to make this one thicker just so it matches. Um, also another disclaimer, if my eyeshadow like looks like super crazy and patchy, it's because I have like a really like thick <laughs> double eyelid surgery scar on both of my eyelids. So those are two things that I have to like work around. Now I'm gonna line my waterline, my lower waterline with black. I 
And you want to make sure that you get like this corner flesh part too. I know it's like weird, but um, do it. <laughs> Going back with the dark brown violetta and smudging it out. And like bringing that up and smudging out the top liner as well. So that it all like kind of like balances out together. Kind of just like molds together. Just gonna use a random black mascara. I don't think she has any false lashes on, so I won't be putting on any false lashes. Also, it like false lashes have really been irritating my eyes, like the lash glue, so I'm trying not to use it as much although I don't have that much lashes so hello please help someone someone help please who can even help me and yeah there's like a patch now like right where I drew I mean curl my lashes. I don't know why I grabbed a different liner, but yes, she's fixed. She also has like bottom mascara on as well, but I have like no bottom lashes, so I'm gonna like ignore that. Um, she has like two like dots right underneath the pupil and like above. So the one above is kind of hard because it's like right when you open your lid you can't see it and then when you look down a little bit you can see it so it's like like a tricky placement but the one on the bottom is just like right underneath your pupil and like right underneath the deepest kind of lowest part of that um, glitter that you did okay it's not putting anything Focus, concentrate, make it or break it. Please. Please. I think I did that not good. It looks pretty bad up close, but um just look at me from like look at me from here. <laughs> okay, like the very tip of this liner is not very um not giving it to me okay and then I'm gonna try to do the ones on the top oh Oh my god, that's a complete fail. Oh my god, they're so uneven. Oh no. The ones on my eyelids are so uneven. Uh, ignore this dot. This is what it looks like so far. Wow, it looks so goth looks so goth um i don't have the lipstick that she used she used a um, max ruby woo but i'm just gonna use this peripera ink stick in number four um it kind of looks similar ish it's not as like this is a, a more pink but we can always layer okay that is way too pink it looked different when I swatched it, so this one is the Pat McGrath 
in Obsessed. And she actually like um drew over her cupid's bow so that it's like more of like rounded. So I'm kind of try doing that on me, but I think it looks crazy. I should use a lip brush, huh? I'm just like fiercely overlining my lips. <laughs> Hee -hee. Because Hyona has like way bigger lips than me. Oh my god. I feel like I look crazy. So this is the finished look. Um, I know that I definitely am not Hyona and I definitely don't look like Hyona but this was just a makeup look inspired by Hyona and her latest come back with triple h future retro future my dots are kind of uneven so uh sorry about that but i hope you enjoyed this video it was a lot of fun to do please let me know if you see any new artists coming out with like really cool makeup looks i definitely know that i want to do this one of Ha love you so that will probably be my next like k-pop inspired makeup tutorial so yes I'll see you in my next video. Bye!